All right, time for a Warwick Beginner's Guide. This is going to be a lower rated game, hence the Beginner's Guide. This is like, we're talking silver. Um, I just want to have the same teammates and opponents as, well, you guys probably would be if you're in the Beginner's class of the game. So yeah, I'll be against a Shivana here, which should be fine. Uh, she doesn't really invade early. I can invade her maybe with like a decent opportunity but we'll see initially here we're just gonna do 50 seconds and then recall place the ward on our other buff buff that we're not starting on this is just overall a solid start because it instantly tells you if you have to go for a vertical jungle situation and take their camps whilst they take yours starting off we take w here w is the best one because it gives a giant amount of attack speed as, as soon as the camp gets low so on a leash your camp is going to get low due to your teammates mostly as well and then the W attacks, we will finish it off, so it's better than Q. And yeah. Now, runes-wise here, you can also, if you want, because Warwick is a Tiamat jungler, like Warwick needs Tiamat to be able to clear his camps, like, effectively, you can take Futures Market if you want. However, I actually find the value of this secondary page way more on, on Warwick, because the increased healing and extra resistances just do a lot. 68 damage. I have Twitch Poison to keep in mind. Don't keep auto-attacking it that hard because of Twitch Poison. Smite early. I'm smiting early to put the camp below the W threshold really quickly so I get the extra attack speed increase faster. And we're just gonna go for the wolves into the red buff. And the raptors and the krugs are pretty hard to do without Tiamat. They take absolutely ages. So generally you just want to look for a gank right after that. If you're on the other side of the map... Uh, like you can just do the same thing honestly you can just do like blue gro or red sorry red wolves blue gromp or red blue gromp wolves or even not the wolves and just go for a gank or something everything like that could work take the e here there's no way we get a full clear in like that takes absolutely years on warwick so it's just not worth it interesting let's back to the base okay all right, we know information now. This is very vital information. We see this guy, and he only has his red buff, which instantly just means that his top side, his blue, his gromp are up because he doesn't have blue buff. This is extremely vital information. We're just gonna counter jungle this Shivana real quick because we need to punish her for that bot play she made. My bot lane didn't survive, unfortunately. But this is an instant indication of, like, she didn't go for this, so we take this. That awareness of whether she has blue or not is very, very important. Ari is quite low. Actually not that gankable though. Top lane would be an easier gank overall. He's gonna take his Gromp as well. Like, these are easy camps. If they leave these up, like blue Gromp, stuff like that on Warwick, just take those. Prioritizing the farm a little bit on the early game here for that Tiamat is very, very good. This is solid. That's very, very good for me. Right, we max W first. I don't care about Scuttle, I'm just gonna go for the top gank. There is a control ward here, are you joking? That is early as hell, my guy. Alright, there's a Shivana here. She can't fight me, like, at this point. She committed to that early bot play, so there's nothing she can do, really. Alright, I think I'm just gonna run top here. And I think I'm gonna go this. Nope, I'm gonna go this way. This should be fine. I quickly flash on him so he can't do anything against me and then just bite him to death. This is good. I, I prioritized the Darius there because I know, like, I could probably kill the Shiv as well. But this way I just kill that Darius, get him out of lane, get him to lose experience essentially, which makes Seth's lane overall much, much easier. And the reason I played it the way I did, I just flash on top of him. And then just auto attack Q him. That would definitely be a kill shot. If I try to walk up to him first, he could try to hook me, get like an like get like a Q off potentially because the hook essentially is a free Q for Darius. And then that way he will be able to re regain his HP, and I might have a tougher time killing him. I think Set might actually win that. I'm gonna go bolt here. Plant's not up yet. We're gonna spawn very soon though, but I don't think this is water, so I don't think it matters. 
I'm gonna go for the Jin is the idea. I hopefully at least. Get the fear. Drag Q into them. Good. I have the movement speed upwards with my W, so I should be able to get and catch the Zareth. Don't have the move speed for it. Yeah, I don't have the move speed for it. That's okay. There's not much I could do. Oh, that's a beautiful interrupt, though. Yeah, that's. I can. I can. Might maybe uh, catch him off guard here. Okay, good. Not bad. Oh boy, this is this is not good. I smite that. Jesus Christ, Q. Heal myself. I'm gonna die to Jin now. Okay, that ignite is very very annoying. I messed up on that play definitely i should have probably just let it for what it was i don't think i could have escaped that situation anymore ah well it's okay let's get this just run out of base i'm gonna move this way my w gives me a ton a ton of movement speed towards this shift right now Shiv is going to die ari should be dead here. oh ari just hit six question mark is that just a level six right there Pop the w get onto the ari here and then we hold Q in case she dashes over the wall there. Dash out, get on melee range with him, make lethal tempo do the work here. Make sure to keep moving with him as well, get the Q hit in there and we're good. And now we can just dragon. Because we just killed their uh, team essentially. This Twitch helps me, that would be amazing. As soon as this gets below half and I get the W threshold on the dragon, this gets really, really quick. But smiting early on objectives like dragon definitely isn't worth it, of course, because you want to have the smite ready to get the kill shot with it. Just to se secure the objective for yourself. So right in that fight, right before, like my W, <coughs> sorry, my W wasn't actually active at that point anymore, so I activated it myself to, <coughs> whoa, 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 to catch up to the Ari. Sorry. Um, so I can get in range of her and then I fear to, well, CC them. And then right as Ari is about to walk towards the wall to potentially flash, o flash or dash over the wall, I hold Q on her. I don't know what's happening, man. <clears throat> I hold Q on her and then if she were to dash over the wall, I would be able to follow instantly. Which would be very, very crucial in that situation. My entire jungle is up now and I have Tiamat, so I definitely am just going to do a full clear. At this point in time, I have to make sure that I get my CS rolling and start actually getting these farm numbers up. Because the early game is more so for like looking for something aggressive because you need to have that TM at first before you actually start like hard farming, essentially. So yeah. <clears throat> Whoa. Make sure that I uh, press my... Wait, just one second. Do this. What's that? Am I going to die? I am dead. Damn. Oh, I was so close. Damn. The... Uh, yeah, that kind of sucks. Ah, uh, well. It's still probably worth two for one. I... As soon as the Ari threw her charm, I ulted. Because that cannot be interrupted by that. So I could just ult her whilst the charm connects to me and then she I, I just essentially land on her and there's nothing she can do so that would work pretty well i will go for magic i'm just gonna go for mercs here and get this so that's what i did there and then with the fear i tried to cc her i could maybe have helped my fear longer potentially but i think the play was overall fine i just wasn't able to survive the turret unfortunately Whoa, that is aggressive, my boy. I... Be careful. Oh, God. Right, I killed him, at least, I guess. It's the best it was gonna be. Wait. Okay, I'll just leave it like that. She is definitely just on... I'm just gonna pop W here. This way I can spot wherever she's going. She's right there. I guess I could just go for the scuttle then. No wards. Ults up in five. 
No scuttle, go down. This is bad. She missed pointed scuttle. <laughs> okay. I mean, I do not know where my Syndra is going. I have to sidestep back there to be able to dodge Ari Charm. That's a little bit unfortunate that my Syndra just left the entire situation, but there's not much I can do about that, personally. I mean, I'm not gonna flash over on that one. That's not gonna happen. Wait, they're in this bush. Just use my move speed to catch up to him. I didn't hold my Q there, apparently. Smite him for the kill. Jesus Christ. I should have held Q there. I thought I did, but apparently I just didn't. That's okay, just gotta leave now. Get the smite kill shield there. I guess this is a pretty decent time to do the Rift Herald. I don't think I'm gonna get contested on this. Sustain is fine, like, the, getting low on anything doesn't make a difference for Warwick. You can just queue yourself back up, essentially, and you're fine. Once this gets below half HP, I get the extra attack speed from W increase as well. I want the kill shot, please. No, man, that's 100 gold to him. I don't know if I can actually catch up to the Darius here. Whoever kills Rift Herald gets an extra 100 gold, so me not getting that's kind of annoying. I'm gonna use this mid because I want the first turret mid. It's only on two plates, so it's gonna be a guaranteed hit or a kill shot on the turret. As soon as the Rift Herald connects to it. So I'm just gonna insta pop the Herald mid lane here. Get this down. Pop the other trinket. If you have a red trinket or a blue trinket, you can instantly use that trinket to uh, get a refresh on your trinket. As you can see right here, I got the instant refresh. I am not doing anything about this. The uh, Syndra didn't actually pay attention to the Shiv standing over the wall there. She committed to the play for no reason. Really? Just with all these wards, my guy. They are placing so many wards. This is new to me. I mean, at this elo at least, of course. Like, I'm used to being there, there being a ton of wards, but not used to it on this run. I want the scuttle. Starting dragon here is very risky, currently, because she. Uh, sorry, my mid laner has no mana. Wouldn't be able to back me up. Bot lane probably would be, but then again, like the enemy team is completely missing off the map. So if I start it right now and they collapse first, my bot lane is gonna be late. I die, which is definitely not ideal. Okay, I see them there. Twitch just backed. I'll just relax for a bit. Farm it up. I should have my Sunder in base, I do. I have an extra smite charge coming up, so I might as well use it to get the HP on this lower quicker. Uh, I just need to wait for Twitch, I think. I have a lot of gold here, but this should be fine as long as we wait for Twitch to get here. He's gonna go in. Recon ult should, in theory, fix this entire problem. Go for the Jin with the ult. Uh, I didn't get the hold Q there. She flashed in, in time. That's unfortunate. I mean, if he has exhaust up there, I don't know if Recon ult actually connected with Jin from the start there, which was kind of unfortunate potentially. Wait a second. Hold on, buddy. We're not doing this. I am not. I'm not doing this. She doesn't have her ult now. That didn't actually fear Ari, eh? Really. Sidestep. I'm not gonna have to fight this in melee range. Or, like, I don't wanna fight her on this HP. Melee range is advantageous for me, of course, but not on that HP. Just... I unfortunately wasn't able to get the dragon, but I did kill the Shiv, at least for that uh, play. Get Sunderer here, and we should be good. Uh, there is like cam tank and stuff these days as well that you could get but i personally think sunder like carry potential wise is just a bit better and honestly at like especially lower ratings you should take all the carry potential you can so yeah we're going with sunder on this one tiamat sunder we're going for the uh, uh hydra now titanic hydra solid setup I, my farm is not great. 
there has been a lot of fighting going on especially like yeah this game here but warwick's farm generally doesn't tend to be very great because his uh, overall clear speed's not that good i mean tiamat does fix a bunch of stuff i could have more farm here but if the plays on the map were a little bit less but there's just been a lot of plays that you can respond to with your w and stuff So, being a little bit lower on the farm department is not that bad. I'll, I'll be able to catch up still. Check top scuttle, he just did it. I see. I actually don't... Like, I shouldn't engage on her here because we don't know where Darius is and we don't know where Ari is. Both of which could be literally anywhere right now. Mm. Check her raptors. They are in fact... Wait, what? I'll just clear it. Okay. Shiv is top lane. I wanna... Oh, there's another control ward here, right. Let's pop the W. Got Ari charmed. Put my damage reduction on. Had the Ari with the... Kill the Ari. I had to flash for that because I didn't hold Q in time. Come on. Just let me get the Q on you. Thank you. There we go. Not too bad. I pulled my damage reduction and instantly ulted somebody, some, one of them right there to uh, ensure that I just survive, essentially. They threw a charm already. They threw like the stuns already. So I don't really have to worry about anything in that situation. Okay, well, he got that. This is okay. What did you just teleport for, huh? Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna go farm my camps again a little bit. Need to keep up the tempo on this as much as possible. I'll have that Tannik in base. We're gonna be looking fine now. Hit level 11 soon here as well. There it is. Really try to use, like, your uh, W scent to see where people actually are on the map. I'm gonna take the recall here by the Titanic, and then I need some magic resist. It's gonna be good, because magic damage, magic damage, magic damage. So we're gonna prioritize a magic resist item, and I think wits end, like, as a, like, item overall here is very good. I could also just go spirit visage, but I'm, like, pretty well off this game. So if I would be a little bit more conservative, I could go spirit visage, but I think I could just do the wits end. I might even be able to do wits end and spirit visage, and then just get, like, a single armor item to uh, defend myself against that team, which probably wouldn't be that bad. Good day, sir. I'm gonna smite you. Fear him. She got the kill, that's fine. I would do her Gromp. I'm still gonna do her Gromp, actually. I should be fine. I don't think they're actually going to start dragon. I could still ult him there, but I actually just want to hold that in case he flashes, generally. Because that way, um, I will have a, ch a way to chase him with that. Oh, hey, Shiv. How are you doing? Right there, I ult, and then I just instantly hold Q in case he flashes, so my Q would follow. This way, I could just have a kill shot on her, essentially. questionable decision if I go in on that. So we'll just go for Dragon instead, because Shivana is dead. Auto attack, hold Q so you don't get knocked back from Dragon. I'll smite, nice Dragon will pick up here, good. Make sure that I just go for some of my camps again. There is nothing on the map going on right now. So, do, going for some of my camps in this moment in time is going to be the move. Also, if there's something that does happen, you do have Warwick W to instantly respond and get a ton of movement speed towards the play. Now, this is completely on top lane, so this is something I really can't react to. There is no way I make that in time. She killed him, which is nice. But if this was on mid lane or bot lane, I would just instantly respond, like right here. I could go for this. Got the proc on it because he got him low. Okay, well, he just got absolutely sniped. We 
it goes. You get the uh, ult range increase based on your uh, move speed right there. So if you pop the W, you get the move speed increase off that. You can just like snipe him over the wall. Oh, that's... I'm stepping back there because the first thing she's going to do as Ari is, of course, throw her charm. So if you juke that, then there's nothing she can do against you anymore. So we're just chilling. Yeah, but that's like, that's the type of situation, right? You're clearing your camps, you see the set get engaged on by like whatever it is, your W procs essentially, and just run towards the play. That's really like the bread and butter of how you play this out. Just farm it out. Whenever you see a play like that, whenever you see an opportunity when somebody gets low, you just go there with your W at a rapid, rapid pace. And you should generally be able to make it in time to most plays. If not, like, you will always be clean up duty, regardless of the situation. So we see three people both side. Definitely want to get the scuttle if possible here. Might have to smite this. I don't... I actually prefer holding smite there, or from now on. I. How much is this? 500 gold? I see. I guess I'll just go for my Krugs at the moment. There's not much else to be going on right now. Could take Krugs. I'm gonna run bolt, start running Bolt now. This W already proc for a lot of move speed. As you can see, I have like 700 movement speed towards Bolt side. So the play is gonna go on and we're just gonna run there as soon as I possibly can. Bolt Q. Okay, well, I unfortunately wasn't able to close the gap that far on the Ari. I'm pretty sure she ults and she flashed. Like, high likelihood at least. Are you... Really? None of them died. Wow. That is extremely unfortunate. I'm pretty sure I got exhausted there, did I? I'm pretty sure I did. I'm gonna heal myself with a bunch of Qs on these camps. He just wasted his Q. He's dead. I'll take the third aggro. It's fine. Oh, wait. No, I didn't. Okay. Someone else did. That's still fine. Ooh, Twitch. Alright, he's alive. That was close, man. Both Ari and Zareth got extremely lucky. But yeah, there, my W proc'd. I just run towards the fight. I don't have any more mana, so we're leaving. I also have 3,000 gold. But yeah, you just run towards the fight at like 700 movement speed. Get to the fight. Pick any target you want, really. If you're kind of fed, you'll be able to do it most of the time. I unfortunately barely wasn't able to kill the Ari or the Zareth. I'm, fr I'm fairly certain I got exhausted towards the end of that fight as well. Which obviously didn't help me. Um, right, so I will go for a health crystal. Should be fine in this situation. I can consider what I want to build afterwards. But yeah, that's the situation there. Again, any movement speed you get with your W, you just basically respond to a play. For the rest of the time, you can kind of just farm if you want kind of just little afk farming try to be there for objectives try to do all that that's like the mid game of warwick really because you have so much move speed to react to certain things that it should generally be fine as long as your team doesn't like completely hard into it very good yeah, that's a little aggressive right there for example Set's top. I guess I just wait for Set's pressure a bit. See if the uh, dragon play becomes available to me. Which is something I want to prioritize. I don't know if they are going to go for Baron. I probably won't because the... Sorry, their jungler is dead. So, 10 seconds on dragon. Should be, got, should be fine here. Like that, this right there for my bolt lane was just a little too far up. If they want to do something like that, they have to wait for like set pressure mostly. Because the set pressure is very, very crucial there. Hold Q to dodge the knockback. I'm just going to focus on dragon. There we go. I could technically ult over the wall there. I'm actually going to proc my W right now to see if I can make a catch. Because the Zareth is like right here. Oh my god, he flashed. I'm not going to commit to that play further. It's not worth it. Zareth flashed down for my ult, though. It's a one-minute cooldown for a five-minute cooldown, so it's not bad. If he didn't flash, I'm pretty sure my ult would have actually landed. 
but yeah, whatever. It is what it is. I'll just quickly go and do my bot side camps for now. Make sure I keep the farm going. Like, I have a lot to make up for, this game especially. Like, normally my farm would be a little higher even on Warwick, but this game has just been, like, fights. Very consistent fights. There we go. Cinder Bolt, 20 seconds on ult. Fifteen seconds on all. I guess I'll just wait a little bit. Wait on my raptor camp to spawn. Look for openings. Guess I'll get red buff as well. Still have the dragon objective control down pretty well. Just need to wait for like a good situation for a good opening. This can be in the form of anything really. Just a good W proc towards something will be worth it. Set can like do a good good amount of damage to shift here, that would be great. Waiting for my W to proc. That did proc. There is a ward here. I'm just gonna clear it then. It's interesting. This shift is still going for it. Just get her down with an ult. Q finish it off. That's a double like that's something like that, right? Something like that. A W proc is what you're waiting on, generally speaking. Got the W proc towards the shiv. I thought she was gonna run, like she was kind of far for me to do it initially because she wasn't low enough on HP. But then she kind of just turned around. I... For a second there thought I had flash. And then I realized that I didn't. <laughs> Oops. I've ulted in 30 seconds. Their jungler is dead, so we should be able to just Baron here. I'll place a control ward as well. Like, that control ward I have in my inventory is just for, like, a situation like this for a Baron. If I have the space, I might as well have a control ward for this. And there's no way they're gonna have any vision on this. And once it gets low enough, your W will kick in as well, so your attack speed's gonna get even greater. And you just smite this out. Recall. I see... something low. Get an increase in move speed for this. Showing myself on a minion wave right now, this way they just don't chase Syndra. Hmm. I feel like I have enough magic resist for now. I feel like I should just get an armor item now and then decide later what I want to do with the rest of it. Good one shot. Uh, his red is up, so I can just take that real quick. I'll take the back hit level 6. Like, I can easily back here. Normally, like, this is, like, you shouldn't really back at these timings. But I can easily do it right now because of the, um... Uh, the fact that I have W, right? So if there is any fight going on, anyone gets low, I'm just, like, so fast out of base. My movement speed just picks up enormously. So even though I would be, like, a little bit behind my team right here, if there's a fight going on and any of the enemy team gets, like, a little low, my W procs, and I get to run out of base... Generally speaking, if you're playing a champion that doesn't have any way to, like, close a bunch of distance really quickly, uh, you just want to back when your team backs to try to synergize your backs a little bit more. Because that way you won't actually just lose out on a ton of, um, like, your team just being potentially able to just int. So if you, like, recall like I just did and actually stayed on the map longer, it's actually worse because you don't have a way to get to the t to fight quickly. So getting to the fight quickly, I mean, like, Warwick's W speed up, for example, Nocturne ultimate, uh, Pantheon ultimate, like, anything just that has a good distance closer, right? Those are the type of champions that are actually able to um, back, like, a little later, generally speaking. But that's, like, the only th way I would do it. Because if I'm playing, like, Vi, for example, there's no way I would do something like that. Because backing when your team is about to walk back forward onto the map is really bad. Because then if your team, like, tries to, like, gets caught off or gets caught or whatever it is, it's just gonna be bad. <laughs> like, your team is going to die before you even get there because they don't know how to play safe, generally speaking. Uh, I, I mean... I'm gonna go for the flat for this guy right here. I'm gonna catch this guy, no problem. I we I, oh we actually still got the dragon, okay. 
For me, going for the fight engage there is just worth worth more. I probably would be able to catch the Ari there without flashing over the wall. But seeing as we just killed their entire team, essentially, I just want to flash over the wall to save myself as much time as possible to actually push. Because if my W is on, like, there's no way she outruns me because I can essentially always find her due to the, like, thick red mark you get on her, essentially. So you can always chase her down. It should not be a problem. So, yeah, that's really the thing there. Okay. I missed it. Yeah, that's it for Warwick. This is really how you want to play him. Um, if you guys have any questions, make sure to put this in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button as well. It means a lot. And subscribe for more. See you guys in the next one. Bye.